ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Injured Gadgets iPhone 5C Complete LCD Digitizer Removal and Reinstallation Guide. So the first thing you want to do before you start your repair is remove the two bottom screws. Uh, they are pentalobe screws. Um, and if you go to our website, you can buy this little kit right here. It's like six, seven dollars. It has a Phillips screwdriver, which you need. It has the pentalobe screwdriver. It's got a nylon spudger as well as a microfiber cloth and a little bit of adhesive which you won't need for that repair but we do have it uh, we're going to be using our iFixit 54-bit toolkit for this repair it's a great toolkit for people who are doing the repair more than once obviously or professionals or repair technicians or if you just want a great toolkit we carry it we partnered up with iFixit.com uh, to carry their line of tools so that's what we're using for this repair today and we're going to use that little pen lobe head like I said and remove the two screws on the bottom of the phone alright once that's removed you can use an ISSMO tool or an ISCLAC um, either one is fine this is our ISSMO we carry it on our website and this is the ISCLAC I'm going to show you guys how to use both of them the ISCLAC is really simple it's a suction cup on both sides if your screen has a lot of cracks in it you're going to want to use some tape to, so that it has the proper suction but you literally just put it on both sides and it pops right open for you so that's how the ISCLAC would work and if you are going to use the iSESIMO tool I'll show you guys how to use that you pretty much want to grab the iSESIMO from the bottom right around the headphone jack area there is a little crease there and you can pop it open from that uh, obviously with the iSESIMO it's a little bit more difficult I'm very experienced in it um, so it wasn't very hard for me if you'll notice my iPhone turned on during the repair if your iPhone ever turns on or if you forgot to turn it off to begin with, make sure you turn it off. So I'm going to wait for it to turn off before I actually do anything on the repair because I think that's very important just to make sure that the phone is off before you ever start a repair. And then once the phone is off, make sure you disconnect the battery first. Okay, so now that that's off, we're using our Micro Phillips double zero screws. First thing we're going to do is disconnect the battery. So we've got two micro Phillips screws right here uh, covering a little metal shield you're gonna remove the two screws covering the shield and once that is uh, removed you can go ahead and remove the shield and disconnect the battery flex cable we use a nylon spudger on any flex cables you never want to use metal you don't want to cause uh, electrostatic shock to any parts of the device so you always want to use plastic or nylon Okay, once that is disconnected, it's safe to go ahead and work on your iPhone 5C. I'm then going to remove the four double zero Phillips screws right here with our screwdriver. And they hold this little metal shield in. Once you have these four screws removed, you can go ahead and remove that shield. And it covers up all the flex cables that you will need to disconnect for your iPhone 5C to actually start or complete the repair. With the bracket removed, you can go ahead and disconnect these three flex cables as shown here. Once again, either use plastic, the nylon spudger, or your fingernails. This first flex cable is the front camera and proximity sensor flex. This cable is the digitizer flex cable. And the one that popped up behind it is the LCD. I'm sorry, all the way around. First one was the LCD, the second long one up and down was the digitizer flex cable alright so now if you buy the part you can either buy it one of two ways either one way is gonna be exactly like you see right here with the home button the front camera the ear speaker all pre-installed we carry that on our website it's the full assembly we also carry a version without all these small parts installed depending on what you want to do so I'm pretty much showing you guys how to remove everything as if it were the uh, less expensive of the two assemblies Alright, so right now I'm removing the home button and home button flex cable. As you saw, there were two micro Phillips screws there. I disconnected those two, popped the home button out from behind, and slowly, and I mean slowly, disconnect the home button flex cable. It is stuck onto your frame with adhesive. You do not want to just yank at it because you will rip that flex cable. If you do rip it, we carry the replacement part on our website. But obviously, why rip it if you don't have to? All right, with that removed, go ahead and pop your little home button out. And now we're going to work on the ear speaker, front camera, and then the brackets. All right, so right here are two Microphillips screws again. You're going to go ahead and remove them. 
they cover up this little metal shield. Once that metal shield is removed, you will see your ear speaker come out. And after that, you can go ahead and disconnect the front camera. Now I will note that this little bracket right here is held in by clips. So you will need to kind of disconnect the clips. It's not very difficult, um, so it's not like it's something that's very intensive, but they are in there and they are in there tight. All right, this next piece is the ear speaker. You're gonna remove that. And then we're gonna go ahead and remove this little metal shield. If you do end up cutting this little plastic, don't worry about it. It's not a huge deal. Um, but obviously take it off slowly and carefully if you can. And then of course your front camera and proximity sensor. All right, so at Intro Gadgets, we try and make sure that all of our screens are premium quality. Um, our screen's always gonna have this little camera ring, the proximity sensor bracket, and it's gonna be pre-installed for you. If the screen you buy doesn't have these pre-installed, you will need to remove them from your original screen. You'll remove them by heating them up and they should just pop right off. Um, they pretty much kind of just hold the front camera and proximity in place. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and remove the following five screws and then there's an additional one on the bottom. So let's start with the top, this top one right here. They're all double zero Phillips once again. So we're gonna remove all of these screws. I'll speed it up a little bit. All right, then we're gonna remove that, remove that screw on the bottom right there. And now this metal shield will come loose. All right, so that was pretty much the complete disassembly of your LCD digitizer panel. I'm gonna show you guys how to reassemble it now. All right, pretty much everything in the reverse order. We're gonna go ahead and grab that metal shield, put it back in place, and we're gonna go ahead and place that screw on the very bottom end first. And I'll speed this up just because I'm going to put all these five, six screws back in place. With all of those screws in, let's go ahead and, and put our front camera proximity sensor flex cable back. Um, First thing we just put the little shield back into place. Next, I want to zoom in on this and show you guys how to do this properly. Okay, so this little piece right here needs to go into that hole. If your new screen doesn't come with that hole, make sure you transfer that over. The proximity sensor will go into the hole on the right, and the front camera, of course, goes into the top middle hole. And just so you guys can make sure you're getting into the right things, I'm gonna go ahead and point it out with my nylon spudger rather than my finger. This one is the proximity sensor that goes into there. And then this little piece right here goes into that top white little bracket. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put this all back together. I'm gonna speed it up just a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put that into its little rubber gasket hole. Front camera next. Make sure it's in there seated properly. Next is the proximity sensor area and make sure that that is lined up properly there's two little holes that the flex cable kind of uh, clips into make sure that the ear speaker lines up perfectly if you don't line these pieces up perfectly you could end up cracking your brand new screen when you lay it down um, because for some reason the little screw holes and the screws pushing the pressure against the glass cause it to crack um, anyhow we're gonna go ahead and grab that long screw and we're going to put it into the top little bracket. And additionally, if you guys remember that little metal bracket that's held in by these screws actually has little clips on it. So make sure those clips go back into their place, obviously, so it's all seated properly. Do not over tighten the screw. Remember not to over tighten that screw. If you over tighten it, it could end up causing the glass to crack and break. So make sure it's a little loose. And right there, I'll loosen it up a tiny bit. All right. Make sure that this little shield plastic is lined up properly if it wasn't before. Um, I went ahead and just made sure it was perfectly straight. 
and now I am ready to put the home button and home button flex cable back on all right make sure that when you put the home button back in it is centered properly you don't want to misalign it obviously you put it all back together and then you realize your home button isn't centered so make sure it's centered properly check the other side let's go ahead and grab our flex cable next make sure that the cable on the right side is properly placed in its little holes and pivots and then of course go ahead and grab the two Phillips screws once you have made sure that's lined up and as you can see I'm trying to line it up as best as I can there's that little hole in the flex cable and it kind of clips into the frame and make sure it's flat down once it's flat down now you can go ahead and grab those two Phillips screws and screw those back in Alright, with everything reassembled, you can go ahead and reassemble your screen to the actual phone's logic board. We're going to start first with that digitizer cable. Make sure it's an easy snap. If you don't want to press too hard on these uh, board connections, you could end up breaking them. So if you're not feeling an easy quick snap, please don't force it down. Remember not to force it down ever. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and grab our little metal bracket and screw in those four screws. Let's go ahead and reconnect our battery cable. Once that's connected, go ahead and put the little metal shield above it and put the two screws over that back in. Okay, now starting from the top, never the bottom, there are little clips on the top. You want to slide your phone in from the top and slowly push it along the sides until it snaps and goes side to side. You don't want to push too fast, push too hard. You could end up cracking the screen, putting it back in. So make sure you take your time doing this. All right, once that's back in, you will go ahead and use your pentalobe screwdriver and put the two pentalobe screws back into the bottom of your iPhone 5C. Okay, let's go ahead and power up our phone. Once it's powered up, go ahead and test out the, all the touch functionality. Test out your home button, your front camera. Test out the calling on it. Make sure everything's working. And everything should be good to go. So there you have it. The complete teardown of the LCD touchscreen digitizer of your iPhone 5C with reinstallation. For all your repair parts and tools, please visit us at injuredgadgets.com. As always, make sure to like us on Facebook, follow us and subscribe to us on YouTube, and post your comments below. Thanks, guys.